Hi, Anthony from Read to Ledge here, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what data you can edit in Excel. So I have, once again, the export we had from before in Read to Ledge, or in, I should say in Excel and Read to Ledge, you can basically manipulate almost everything. So let's say, once again, in this matrix run, I hated the stock numbers here. Well, you can go ahead and change that. That's fine. Uh, retail Edge will be able to import that as long as you leave a key field. That key field, which I highly recommend, well, you can't manipulate to be honest, is this inv item ID field, this column here. With that acting as the key though to the items in your inventory, you can change your stock number, description, you can change your departments, you can change your vendor, you can change the classes, like for example, let's say I hated the unassigned, well, I can go ahead and change that if I so chose. Change my cost of that, my last cost. The CSV import does not handle uh, your, your average cost, so you gotta take that into consideration. But that said, you can change almost anything else here that you like, and then import that back into the program. And Retail Ledge will be able to then change the existing items in the program uh, to whatever values you change it to. So with this little brief overview again of what you can change, you can see that a lot of it's malleable and you can change it to whatever your needs or wants are. Once again, I found this video useful. Hope you have a great day.